It's Friday, people, and before hitting that dance floor tonight, you're going to want to tighten up that core, and you know what that means. It's my mama's workout time! Happy Friday! How you guys doing today? Happy one wellness workout time, people, and today, as we've said, we got core on the menu using the backpack, of course, because it's extra effective with weight. Don't skip weight when you're doing core, people. So without further ado, let's get through the moves, get rocking and rolling here. First up, you're gonna make your backpack a wee bit lighter than usual. All right, so I, I'd say around 10 to 15% of body weight should suffice, but you know yourself better than anyone, especially if you've been doing one wellness workouts for a while. First up, you're gonna have that backpack on your shins, laid nice and flat, right? That's why we like the book as our base in the back of the backpack, because it makes for a nice flat, uniform surface, right? By which you can rest on your legs. And first up, you're gonna raise your legs up and down, up and down. And down. Now we can keep a little bend in the knees so we don't stress the hip flexors too much and we focus on the rectus abdominals more. That's up to you. So again, if your hip flexors start to go mid-workout, just bend those knees a little bit more, right? You'll still get a very effective workout for the core and that's what it's all about today. Next up, you're going to have them off the ground and you're going to pull the knees in. Put them out, pull them in. Repeat. After that, you're going to still have the backpack in the same place. Raise it on up and catch it with your hands. Before it falls on your face, you're going to catch it like that. And it's pretty much staying on your shins the entire time. If you want, when you get to the top, you can kind of pick it up off your shins for a second. It's up to you, personal preference. So, excuse me, so long as you're doing this weighted the entire time, right? Doesn't really matter. After that, it's a take or place. Familiar friend, you're gonna take it, replace it. In a suitcase crunch, take, replace. After that, you'll have that backpack in hand. You're gonna hold it on up, with your shoulders off the ground, of course. Bring the legs up, hit it. Bring the straight legs up, hit it, and again, you can bend them a little bit if you want. That's just fine. After that, you're doing a knee pull. Same position, but with a knee pull. And last two are oblique ones. You're gonna stick those feet up and point those toes like you're corkscrewing into the ceiling and twist, and twist with your low back off the ground the entire time, of course. And the last but not least, you're gonna hip rock up like so, low back's off the ground, and twist, twist, twist. I believe we call them twisters, right? Those are all your moves. You got 30 seconds. We'll get rocking here. What up, Johnny? Thanks for tuning in. 25 seconds. I recommend tightening up the straps for workouts where we are not wearing the backpack and don't need the straps loose, right? And you're on your back, place this puppy on your legs, raise them up and down. Keeping them off the ground the whole time. Keep a nice slow pace, right? Keep that balance. You don't want this thing flying off. And you're up. Catching it. 18 seconds to move, by the way. Eight moves. Four. 
Four rounds apiece, five seconds between each round. And you're gonna pull the knees, take it, replace it. Take, replace. Pick it up. Straight leg raise, tap it. This one's for you, Ma. You're gonna like it. I can tell already. Keep it there. Pull the knees. Ah, oh, shame. It was Corday like, two days ago. What were you doing? We love core. We do it a lot. Put it on up there. Stick those feet up. Screw them into the sky. Hip rock up. And twist. Keep your shoulders off if you can, and your low back, of course. Tuck that in. Put it back on your legs. Raise them straight up. And down. Suitcase, replace, take it, replace it. Keep it on up there, stick the feet up high, and corkscrew. One more. Put the legs out. Raise up. Catch it. Catch it.
four moves. Really killers. Last one. Hold it up. Legs out. Touch it. Reset, put them in the air, and course through. Faster. Uh-huh. Nice. Nice. You psychos. Great job. What's up, Random Rosie? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. So, great job. I'm Corday. And again, happy Friday. What we're talking about today, muscle protein synthesis. So, in terms of time frame, after heavy resistance training, uh, you, your muscle protein synthesis drastically increases right after the workout, which most of us know, right? Up to at 24 hours after the workout, it more than doubles multi, muscle protein synthesis, that is. 36 hours after is when it has pretty much totally tapered off and there's no more muscle protein synthesis going on. So what can we extract from that, right? Well, you should work out a few different muscle groups every day, right? Don't just do one thing. And if you do one wellness and we just hit something like core, 
you know, hit the gym after or before if you're more daring and uh, hit a few things, right? Not to say you want to just do five sets, four sets of something. I would say probably, you know, 10 to 15 set minimum per body part. 10 is safe so long as they're very hard, right? Because we want that muscle protein synthesis occurring for many different muscle groups, right? And also, you see how important eating after the workout is and having good meals within that 24 hour period to build as much muscle as you can, people. That's your quick message of the day. Happy when wellness. That was a great one. Love you, Ma. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.